Howdy campers and welcome to your 8th Bootstrap 4 tutorial and in this video we're going to talk about Bootstrap utilities and typography. Okay, so the Bootstrap library includes in it a wealth of different utility classes that we can use for things like colours, typography, borders and tons more as well. So in this tutorial what we're going to do is explore a few of them to make this rather boring looking jumbotron that we created in the last lesson a little more eye-catching. So the first thing I want to do is show you the documentation for the Bootstrap utilities um, so that you can just see how much the library gives us. So I'm going to leave this link down below which is just the Bootstrap documentation. Then I'm going to go down to utilities down here which is right there. Click on that and you can see all these different utilities that Bootstrap provides us with. So it's a big kind of pool of tools that we have. So I'm not going to look at all of them in this tutorial because that would make the tutorial about six hours long. Instead, I'm just going to pick out a few and then you can explore the rest on your own. And we are going to be nipping back to the utilities as we go through the last, uh, rest of the series as well. So the first thing I want to do is change the colour of the Jumbotron. So currently it's like this grey colour that's very boring and bland. I want to change it into a slightly more vibrant colour. So let's go to colours first of all and scroll down and see if we can find anything on background colour. And here we go, these are the different background colours right here. So I quite like the look of this one, this light blue. So I'm going to take a look at the example and it's the third one down, one, two, three. So we can see that this has a class of BG standing for background hyphen info. So this is the way that Bootstrap likes to name the different styles. Primary, uh, success, information, danger, etc. And they all correspond to a different kind of colour. All right. So I quite like the look of this one. So I'm going to grab this thing right here, BG info, copy it, and I'm going to paste it on our Jumbotron class right there. So if I save this now and check this out in a browser, then now we see this blue background, which is a lot better. Now, personally, I think that black text doesn't stand out. It doesn't pop really on this blue colour. So I want to make this white instead. So if we take a look at the colours again, we can see right here where we used BG info. It also has this class of text hyphen white, which does this thing. It makes the text white. So pretty self-explanatory. I'm going to copy this and try it on our Jumbotron to make sure it works. Paste it in the class list right there and check it out. Cool. Now we have white text. So already this is looking a lot better. So the next thing I want to do is kind of liven up this text, make it a little bigger, make it stand out more. So to do that, I'm going to go back to the bootstrap documentation, go up to the top. And this time I'm just going to go to content first of all, and then go to typography. OK, so this section gives us a list of different tools we can use for different typography settings. And you can see right here, it gives us some different headings like so. These are just H1 tags through to H6. And it also gives us the class names of H1 through to H6 to make them look like this as well. I like these things right here, display headings. They look nice and clean, nice text and nice and big. So I'm going to use one of these classes, display one, I think, to get this kind of style for my heading. So I'm going to just copy this class right here, display one. And I'm going to go back to the code. That is what I want this text to be. So we'll find that it's this H1. We'll give it a class equal to display hyphen one, save it and check this out. This is going to look a bit better. Now we have that large text right there. This is certainly looking better so far. Um, we also want to make this a little bigger because it looks a little lost next to this big text. So let's see what else we have. If we scroll down a little bit more, we see this thing called lead and this makes a paragraph stand out by adding the class of lead. So it looks a bit more like this text right here. So all we need to do is add this lead class now to our P tag right here. So let's say class equals lead and save it. And now it makes that text a little bigger and stands out just a little more. All right, cool. So there's one more thing I want to do for now, and that is to kind of centralize all this text in the center. So yeah, we've got the container surrounding this and that brings it into that central column, but it's aligned left to that central column on the left side of it, right? I want all this text to be in the middle. So we can do that using another class from Bootstrap. So again, I'm going to go to the documentation and I'm going to go to utilities again. And this time I'm going to click on typography. 
and if we scroll down we can see text alignment down here we've got different classes like text justify uh, that we can use to align text in certain ways we also have these things right here text left text center text right etc we can also apply them for different screen sizes if we like I'm just going to use this text center class which is going to centralize all of our text in the middle so I'm going to go back to our code and add it to this thing right here the jumbotron text center save it and check this out now it centralizes everything on the jumbotron and that is looking a lot better now my friends so these are the different utility classes that bootstrap provides us with and the different typography classes like i said i'm not going to go through them all because it would take me absolutely ages but i am going to leave the link to the documentation down below as always so you can take a look through that in your own time and like i say we will be popping back to the utility classes a little bit as we go along to make our website look a little bit better too so in the next lesson we're going to be taking a look at more of the components bootstrap 4 has to provide us with and we're going to start with bootstrap cards